everybody in this video I'm going to be covering uh, chord chart number three which actually it goes over and relooks at some of the chords that I've already taught you but it kind of shows you um, an informal way of playing those chords uh, first one is F sharp minor now as we learned in the last video um, in chord chart number two video is you, you bar on the second fret and you do um, two fingers on uh, your pinky goes on the fourth fret um, on the fourth string and your ring finger goes on the fourth fret on the fifth string and then you bar it on the second fret that's an F sharp minor uh, but another way to do that is if you take your index finger and you just press him on the second fret on the third string string but this is another way of playing an F sharp minor that's totally ac acceptable in uh, when you're playing live if you're not like if you don't want to bard you can do it like this and it will be will be totally okay in, in almost every case uh, the next one I'm going to show you guys is a different version of the chord B minor uh, like again we learned it uh, what you do is you bar on the uh, second fret index finger goes on the third fret second string the uh, ring finger goes on the fourth fret fourth string and the pinky goes on the um, uh, fourth fret third string and then you bar it this is a B minor okay. this is the formal way of playing a B minor uh, the informal way of doing it is where you put your uh, ring finger on the third fret second string then you take your middle finger you put them on the uh, second fret third string and then you take your index finger and you put them on the second fret on the fifth string this is a different version but it's still the same chord B minor and in most cases this is totally acceptable uh, as a replacement for the formal way of, of a B minor uh, there's some cases where I'm recording where I really want the the full sound of the uh, the formal chord, but sometimes when I'm playing live, you can you can cheat a little bit and use some of the informal chords to get the concept across. Uh, but when you're recording, you kind of want the voicing of every string. So I usually stay on the formal chords whenever I'm doing a recording, but when I play live, I'll do the informal chords. Uh, the other one is a B. Now we showed you guys in the video a B is where you take your uh, your finger, your index finger, and you spread it over all the strings, and then you uh, do pinky on the fourth fret, second string. Uh, you do the ring finger on the uh, fourth fret, third string, and you do the middle finger on the fourth fret, fourth string, and then you bar on the second fret, and that's a B. Well, the other way of doing a B, uh, there's two different ways you can do an informal B. One of them is if you take your index finger and you put them on the second fret on the fifth string, then you take your ring finger, you take them, you put them on the uh, fourth fret fourth string, and then you take your pinky, you put them on the fourth fret third string. And it looks like that. And I'm trying to put my middle finger out of the way. There you go. Looks like that. And you could pretty much drum all of them except the, the top six string. It's another version of a B. It's totally acceptable. Uh, the other version is where you, uh, you, you actually play the chord like an E. But you come up to the ninth dot here where the two fingers are on the ninth dot. So uh, what it is is your index finger goes on the eighth fret on the fourth string, or third string, sorry, eighth fret, third string. Your ring or middle finger goes on the ninth fret on the fifth string, and your ring finger goes on the ninth fret on the fourth string. So it looks like this. All right, then you play an E. And it's a totally acceptable B. So here's a B, and here's a B, and here's a B. Uh, 
uh, so those are all different um, variations of playing uh, those are some informal ways of playing some of the formal chords that we've taught you in the past uh, we play a lot of the informal ones live and it'd be really uh, good for you to know both but just so you know uh, we're gonna play mainly informal live so thanks for watching the video and uh, get to practicing